You think you want to just tear the the top shelf off and just make them all the same? Well, if I what's that? So much crap in here. Um, I was thinking if we could to move that one up higher, so this way we actually utilize the you know the higher space up there. Not super high, actually. Yeah, honestly, uh, might, might as well, Jen. We're already. Well, I'm just saying that one could stay, and then we could put one under it. Yeah. Like, right where it ends, you just want to tear some stuff out. I want to tear your ass out. Really? No, if I'm going to do it, I might as well do it right. Oh, look, you got a haircut. You're so cute. I got a haircut yesterday. You didn't even notice. <laughs> so don't, don't come over here. Oh, you're so cute. I got it yesterday. You didn't even notice. <laughs> All right. Just go up higher. How many times do I do stuff to myself and you don't notice? Every time I tell you, you just look at me. Anywho, okay, so what? Yeah, I'm just gonna tear it off. Okay, so this is gonna be the desk here. And then the plan is to do two shelves. I'm telling you, it could stay where it is and then you just put the other one right under it. Yeah, but see, the thing is, these two shelves are gonna look totally different compared to the shelf on top. That's what I'm worried about. I don't wanna get finished and you'd be like, Oh, uh, yeah, that'll match. So I'm still going to have to do it. Are you using different materials? I thought we were just adding a shelf. No. And yeah, working with what we already have. When I add the second shelf, when you see it in the bottom, it's going to be very clean. There's going to be like, it's just going to look like a floating shelf. And then you're going to look up here and you got this and this. Oh, I didn't know you were doing floating shelves. No, it's going to look like a floating shelf and not floating shelves. Okay. I'm not understanding, but do whatever you want. I was trying to make it easy on you by using what we already had. So the no, shelf, we are gonna use what we're gonna have. The shelf that we had here, I had him take down and basically move it down here to make it a desktop for me. So this way, we well, already have we're, it. We're using the existing materials, except uh -huh. for instead of having that bull nose, which is like round. That's what you call a bull nose. Okay. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna make it look square. Okay. And I'm gonna actually make it look like it's a floating shelf. Oh, okay. you're making it thicker. Yeah, some well, it's just gonna be an illusion of it. Uh, okay, cause you know how I feel about natural wood, and I love that color, but the rest of it won't look like that, though, huh? Nope. Boo. Well, and that's the other thing too. Like, I mean, we can always buy. You're just gonna use a piece, one piece of plywood. Yeah, <laughs> one piece of plywood. If you want that. Well, I like how the natural wood tones look. Okay. That's all I need to know. You can go now. No, you didn't. Where's my dinner? It's in the kitchen. see it more mm -hmm. where I screw it from the top where this one will be about or does it matter I don't think it I mean still gonna look like what I mean there's still gonna be a piece in front here. Oh okay because I thought you said something about yeah. it looking like it was folding or whatever. Uh, I'll do I'll just put it away like this. Like that, and I'll put a piece that way. Now, the other thing is, <clears throat> are you sure you don't want me to fill it out through here? Or you just want to take it like that? But do we have the pieces for that? Uh, I'll see. If I do, I'll go ahead and do it. If I don't, then we'll just leave it like that.
basically one thing we did was make sure that the uh, shelf for this can be high enough for her. so we had to make sure that and then most closets are square if it is it's a lot easier this one actually has a corner that way that one has a corner so this one's flat yeah but and this that one has a corner okay so as you can see what i did was uh, first i put the frame and then now what did you use for this frame um the the back for the, your desk i actually used uh, uh four by four by one four by one yeah okay and then these here are two by twos okay this is just for so cross you just framed out the whole yeah the whole closet yeah. and then this is just for added support right yeah just because you know all your your weight's going to be in the middle since mm -hmm. you don't have anything that's grabbing it so i actually did triangles we'll try to do triangle just to kind of keep the weight uh you know and then the top one but then was the same thing. I used a two. I actually used a two by two, a two by two, and then since square, I actually framed a little square here. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to that one on top, and then this one here, I'm gonna have to once I put the top on, then I'm gonna be able to uh, figure out what cut I need to do. That Two more pieces, and then I can cut this one. And I guess I can. Are, are we using a new piece for the tabletop? Huh? Are we using a new piece for the tabletop? Yeah, same piece. Uh, I mean, a new piece. Yeah. Okay. So I. So you could do plywood, the wood, right? Yeah, I don't want plywood. I was able to do three shelves. Okay, that's what I was gonna ask: is how much did this cost in materials? What did you buy? Well, uh, material-wise, it depends on uh, how much you want to pay for the plywood. But you only need one shot of plywood. And then you had them cut it at Home Depot, right? Yeah. So you so, just gave them your measurements and then they did the rest? Yeah. So, and I get, and again, it depends too on what size closet you have. But if it's this big, it's, it's only 23 inches from here to there. So I had them cut 23 inches uh, long ways. And then usually shelves are like 11, 11 and a half the most on width. So I just made them cut 11 because I put the border and that's a half inch border. So, so all in all, what is this costing material wise? <clears throat> Again, you can buy just uh, okay. using what you used on this closet in our home. So, plywood, uh, the uh, two by twos, the one by two. All in all, I think it was like one hundred and ten. But like I said, I'm putting nice plywood. I'm not, the plywood was 50 bucks itself. You can buy plywood that's $30. You can buy plywood that's 23, but if you're gonna like actually use it. And yeah, I wanna actually stain yeah, it, still, so. Yeah, that's the only reason. It sucks, but plywood that's expensive is the the one that's smoother. And it looks it has nicer. More, yeah, it looks yeah. nicer. Yeah, so I wanna keep it the natural wood tone because that's what we have throughout the house and I really like it. So that's why he was making sure to get a nicer piece because I want to stain it and keep it natural wood. Yeah. So. Uh, like I said, you can, I mean, the ch cheapest you can go on a uh, uh, plywood, I think it's like 30 bucks, but uh, there's, it's one side that's sanded, the other one's not, mm -hmm. but it's still kind of like rough. This one here, yeah, it's 50 bucks, but I mean, you can tell the quality of it. So. Cool. This is a disaster zone. <laughs> oh my god, I got so much crap. And then once he's done with this, I'm still gonna have to go through all of this and like purge and organize and yeah, yeah. That's my goal for 2020 is I gotta work on my organization. Pretty sure Manny wants to strangle me right now, but in my defense, when he was placing the shelves, I did specify leave the top one where it is, just add the bottom, but he didn't listen to me, so. Yeah, he's mad because he's having to move that top shelf. But after I took a picture and I looked at it, there wouldn't be possible for me to put anything up there because it would have hit the door frame of the closet doors. And it was just, it was way too tight. So I had to say something, but now he's, now he's pissed off at me. <laughs> Thank you.
this to basically fill the holes in. <laughs> We're trying to work on Manny's teaching skills. They're, um, they're not so, the best. <laughs> okay, so when you actually, when you nail a piece of wood to another, it makes a little hole. Mm -hmm. So you got to use this so the hole disappears. There you go, Professor Manny. Can we have a little bit of, like, I don't know, oh, happiness? Now. People know. Yeah, this stuff is awesome. Now, it depends. There's two kinds that you can actually see on Home Depot. Uh, in Home Depot, there's going to be this one here, and there's another one. It's made by the same company, but it's actually it's fast drying. Uh, that thing works if you're if you're doing, you know, if you basically don't have time for it to dry. To put it on with your fingers, like not yeah. a tool or anything. I mean, you can use a spatula if you want to. It's not it's not a problem. I mean. You see, the problem is the spatula leaves too big of a gap for me mm -hmm. to clean up. dry decks spagling for all these holes here and then I'm gonna have to go over the uh, where you can see where the shelf used to be you can actually tell that it's not flat you don't want when you paint it you don't want to see the, the silhouette under the paint Uh, wall texture cans. I don't have a lot to do, so I'm gonna use the can. So make sure you gotta shake this thing for like about a minute. Make sure you shake it pretty good. idea for the space was to try to do a painted wallpaper look. I priced wallpaper. It was kind of pricey even for this small space. So we tried to paint. I don't know what Manny was thinking here though using the roller. It was supposed to be brush strokes. So then I went in and tried to repair it and that didn't quite work out either. I <laughs> repainted it, tried again, it didn't work. And then I even tried to do a stencil but with our textured walls nothing was working and so we scrapped everything and then I sat on it for like eight months. And I think we're finally gonna finish this project. Uh, we tried lines, it didn't work, we tried stencil, that was a flop. Every design that I tried I just I had to walk away. It was too much and I couldn't figure it out. So um, all these months later and I've decided just to do a fun paint color just in time because we start virtual learning on Monday and my son needs a space for school so this is a great motivation to get me to hurry up and finish this project. Got everything finished painting. I just love how it pops against the natural wood. So pretty. Let me turn the lights on. So there's with the lights. Time to decorate. <laughs> 